It's harvest time in Barlonio. The fields are full of rice and something else that's hard to miss, joy. The laughter may not be unusual, especially in Africa, but it's a miraculous sound in Barlonio, site of one of the most gruesome massacres of the LRA conflict. And actually, we lost very many people. How many people lost we their lost lives? We lost 350 plus. Other bodies were not recovered. Not far from the fields, a mass grave and memorial for the victims. Many have come here to pay their respects, including top government officials. But little has been done to help the residents of Barlonio recover. People have heard a lot of promises here, but they haven't seen much. A lot of promises much. that nothing has yet happened on the side of the government. Even on the side of other stakeholders who have promised many to come and stand with them. Mm -hmm. It is only this one under Victory Outreach that you have supported that at least has got a real impact. And we, the local leaders, we are very happy. And so are the people. This was the picture Crossroads Missions encountered when it visited Barlonio in 2006. They were a people caught in the past. Today, their future is bright. It wouldn't have been possible without help and a lot of hard work. Alex is the local representative of Victory Outreach Ministries Agricultural Project. The last few years have been quite a ride. When I came to Bologna, the verse that came in my heart and changed my life is that verse that says, true religion is the one cares for the widow, the widowers, and the poor. And these people, we have them, they are widows, they are widowers, they are poor people. So serving them is just like serving God. But this one, like all VOMAP reps, Alex isn't only a pastor, yeah. so but an avid farmer. His job is to not only find the beneficiaries, but teach them how to make the most of their land. <laughs> In Barlonio, that means rice. By using tractors instead of ox plows, productivity and crop yields dramatically increase. It's a head start, not a handout. One that has changed this boy's life. The son of an, both mother and father were killed on that day when uh, this in incident took place, where about 350 people were massacred within two hours. Surviving on handouts from neighbors and relatives, he's now earned enough to feed himself and work towards building his own house. And though he may not have the winnowing technique down pat, he does have one of the most precious commodities, a future. Voma has really helped him because now he can support himself, he has something to eat, and he also has now a plan for the future because he has something that he can sell to help him in the future. Converting crops to cash isn't a new concept. In fact, Andrew says there's a reason this place is called Barlonio. Lonio is wealth and bar is field. So here is literally referred to as the field of wealth. That is what it used to be. There isn't exactly a lot of wealth to be found here yet, but there are a lot of grateful people. I sat down with some of them after a long day of harvesting to find out what they will do with their profits. Some of them will buy the household items. Some of them will even buy cattle. Oh, wow. Yes. So it has helped them move ahead in life. Yes. And even though the past is always around them, Barlonio is on its way. I asked the so oldest resident if she expects to see those fields yeah. of wealth again. She, she just knows that the name Barlonio meant a lot. Mm -hmm. eh? So what other good things used to be here, of which she cannot enumerate now. But she knows the name Barlonio as something good. This is the first of many harvests to come in Barlonio. And though the weather and even the political situation remains unpredictable, Volmap is invested in restoring this land and the people.